The killer of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie was 19-year-old Gabriel Pinsop, who was a member of the Black Hand, a secret society committed to ridding Bosnia of Austrian rule. After the war was set in motion, nationalistic feelings were strong. Men from all over the world began to enlist for their country. This is for you. It's my great grandmother's. And just in case anything happens to me, I want you to have it. Remember, I love you. I'll hold you close to my heart forever. I'll hold you close to my heart forever. We have to go now. Bye, Mom. Don't forget me. Hello, my name is John. I am a French soldier who survived through World War One. Uh, here is where the Battle of Marne took place. Uh, here, the Germans attempted their Schefflin plan, where they would attack us at the West Front first, and then as soon as they defeated us, the French, they would go to the Russian side on the Eastern Front. By September 5th, the uh, the Allies had come together to attack the Germans at uh, Marne. We forced a counterattack. This, uh, after four days, the Germans retreated, um, and this was known as the first major class of, on the Western Front. This leaves the Schefflin plan to ruins, so they uh, did not try to use this anymore until later on. The Russian forces saw this as a great opportunity to invade <laughs> Germany. Uh, so the, the Germans uh, send the majority of their troops back to Germany to fight off the Russians. This left a stalemate on the Western Front. Uh, by July 1918, the Germans again tried to attack Marne. Uh, again, the Allies launched a counterattack, and now we had the help of the uh, United States Army to fight off the Germans. These were over 12 million men who came to help us. Germans, uh, their travel to Marne, it exhausted not only their troops, but their supplies as well. Uh, once the Allies defeated the Germans uh, during the Second Battle of Marne, the whole uh, the war really changes because the central power begins to crumble. It's been about three years since my, my husband enlisted in the war. He gave me this picture before he left, and he gave me this necklace and told me to keep it close to my heart, so I wear it every day. But with him gone, I have had to take over the roles that he previously worked. I now work in a factory with dangerous and explosive chemicals that they can turn my skin yellow if I'm not wearing enough clothing. And it's pretty dangerous. If one thing explodes, it could set off the whole factory and we can all be dead. So, I miss my husband and I just really want him to come home. It's been a long time. My daughter misses her brother. So, hopefully he'll be home soon.
Yep. Life in the trenches is really hard. With, you know, the mustard gas. Like, smelly. Burns out suckers' lungs and bad stuff. It's hard for me to get back to normalcy. You know, things are different now. You see things. You see a lot of things. You know, it is hard. It's really hard. I miss my voice a lot. Still have the picture she gave me. You know, I miss a lot of things. Life in the uh, trenches is really hard. It's very cold and muddy and there are rats everywhere. And you're not just surviving for your life, you're competing against the rats for food because we rarely have any. Some of the men have uh, started eating the rats. Disgusting. There's trench foot uh, because your feet get like really like wet and muddy and it's just, it's so disgusting to look at. Like I can't even think about it. We have a tank right behind us over there that, uh, you know, it, it just demolishes anything in its path. Uh, we use our gun for a cross battle, and we sometimes use grenades. The only good thing here is my dad. He's here with me, helping me get through this. Son, I can't take this no more. a British passenger ship, was sank by the Germans and left a total of 1,198 citizens dead. In 1917, the focus of the war shifted from land to sea. The Germans released a statement saying that they could blow up any ship that was sailing in their territory. This became known as unrestricted submarine warfare. In on May 7, 1955, 1915, a German submarine sank a British passenger U-boat. They killed 128 American citizens. This is what brought America into World War I. America enters the war in 1917, and the outcome of the war will change in favor of the Allies. On November 11, 1918, a German representative met with the French commander to sign an armistice which ended the war. On June 28, 1919, Germany and the Allies met to sign a treaty. This was five years to the day of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie as Sophie's assassination, which sparked the war. In this treaty, a League of Nations was created to keep the peace between all nations. Under this tr treaty, Germany was harshly punished. Germany had lost a lot of territory, military operations had severe rest restrictions, and they were also hit with war guilt. This meant that they had to take full responsibility for the war. Germany also had to pay the Allies for the damage that was done. Under the League of Nations, Germany, Germany's African and Pacific territories became mandates. 